What's up YouTube? My name is Melton Metal Anthony and today I'm going to show you how to set up a spool gun, a 30A Miller particularly, on a 302 Trailblazer. So one of the first things you're going to need if you're going to do this setup off your Trailblazer is, just get this thing here, this control box here, um, I believe it's the WC40. Uh, was the number on it. You could buy this from Miller. They're roughly two or three hundred dollars for this one. Um, but you need this in order to use a spool gun. So you're going to want to take your WC-40 control box and take the end and screw it into your remote. It'll only fit one way and that is the way. It's with prong up. So you go ahead and you screw that on. Make sure you got good contact. All right, and the next thing you're gonna wanna do is hook your spool gun up to the welder. So on the end of your 30A spool matic, you'll have three connections. One obviously goes into your control box. And again, this fits one way, has a little strip in there so that it directly screws on. The other is obviously gas. Going to need a female end for that. I might be able to screw right into the bottle because I'm not going that far. And the last one goes onto the welder, and I'll show you that now. So you're going to want to go ahead and put this on your wire or CV. Nice and snug. Beautiful. Okay. So then you want to come here to your welder, switch it on, and you're going to go to CV remote uh, mode. You're going to have it on electrode positive. Uh, obviously work is ground, so I don't think I need to go over that with you. But uh, yeah, that's my setup for my Spoolmatic. So that's it. Like I said, all you do now is just hook your gas up, which I have there. My last bottle was Argon. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed yourself. You learned how to set up your Spoolmatic 30A onto your 302 Trailblazer. Uh, go out there and get welded. I hope you guys have a great day. If this video helped you out, give me a subscribe, like it. All right, guys, thank you.